Hi everybody! Welcome to Junk Drawer Art with Miss Riley. I'm Miss Riley and this is... Mommy's almost great. Mommy's art helper and my squeak kid is almost gone. Gone! <laughs> so, um, it is Toilet Paper Roll Tuesday. And this was a project that you wanted to work on, right? This one was your idea. You ain't gotta tell them what it is. The baby are making a the young Fawn movie Millennium Fountain card and two other cards for using a toilet paper roll, bottle caps, and these for weird tires. For funny tires. So John's right. We're gonna be making like little cars. It's it's actually really really easy, isn't it? Yeah. Super easy. Um, and so what we have is we have like John said, paper towel or um toilet paper tubes. Now for the wheels on markers to decorate. Now disclaimer: if you want to go like all out with these, you yeah hold on, you can paint them or you can cover them with white paper. But we just want to color ours, right? Or, yeah, we're not going to go too crazy with it. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, and, and John's right, we have, we've been collecting, if you have like applesauce pouches or yogurt pouches or baby food, right? If you little, have little baby food pouches, we've been collecting the tops on these. And they actually, the ones that are perfectly round, make awesome wheels. So these are going to be the wheels on the side. And John wanted to save these two um, because they could make really cool steering wheels couldn't they? Or, yeah. or anything else you want. So um, when you take these little pouches off, if your brother and sister are eating baby food, like the squeezy pouch ones that you eat, don't throw them away. Save them up and you can use them for what we're about to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the tops ready to put something in. So this is an absolute grown-up job. This is kind of a really good project to do with grown-ups because you need a hot glue gun, which I have um, over here heating up. And you also need a craft knife or a really sharp pair of scissors and a really sharp pair of scissors. Can I use that? Do you think you can use the craft knife? I want to. I know you want to, but you... No, when sorry, I'm a bud. grown up? When you're a grown up, absolutely. So I'm going to show everybody um, how you um, carve out the seat for this. And actually, can I borrow your marker? Yeah. Okay. Funny. Yeah. So um, I'm actually going to take this toilet paper tube. And in about the middle, kind of towards the back, right about here, maybe a third of the way up, I'm going to draw an arch. And that's going to be where I'm going to cut the seat out. So I'm just going to kind of draw a U shape. Kind of like that, um, right there. And I am going to get it started. I'm going to cut along that U. I'm going to get it started with my craft knife by poking a hole in it. Let me actually scoot you guys down. Perfect. So you can see. So I'm just going to poke my craft knife in it. If you want to cut all the way around, you can. Or you can make that little slit in it and take like a little sharp pair of scissors and kind of dip the tip in. And continue. You know what? I'm actually going to use the craft knife. It's doing better. All the way. This is going to be the seat. Yeah. So once I have them two sides equal, what I can do now is reach in, pull that flap up, and you have a seat. And you have something that can sit in there. If you need to, um, you can come in. And, and actually, as I'm looking at it, I'm like, Ooh, it might need to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to kind of... There we go. Just kind of carve away another little bit of a layer. And so like a little action figure could sit in there. It's probably too big for a Lego guy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So you can get like a little action figure in there. So I'm going to cut another one um, to show you again. And I'm going to let John start decorating this one. You don't want, what's wrong? I don't know where your guy is. Do you want to go get your guy? Go quit. Go grab him. I'm going to cut another one so we can kind of show you um, two different designs that you might be able to do. Um, if this traditional design might be a little bit tricky, 
Um, you can also do a square part of it. So I'm going to kind of do the same thing. Did you find your guy? That's okay. We can find him later. I know. Why don't you grab another guy for now, like your Batman, and then we can do the Han one later. Perfect. All right. Um, so I'm actually, you can do it square also. So I'm, again, I'm coming about a third of the way down. Um, I am making a square. You want to make a square opening in it? There we go. I'm coming in with my craft knife, poking my hole, cutting down. Is it too small? Yeah. yeah. I might have to carve it a little bit bigger. Yeah. Here, you can have this square one that I'm making. That might fit him a little better. Okay. This can be from Yeah. And then I just, so after I've cut it out here, I'm just reaching in and flipping that lid up make his back seat. This one fit in that one better. Here, let me stick him in. Oh yeah. And you can kind of see how the guy, <laughs> how he fits in it perfectly. Nice. Yeah, it can be. Okay. Looking good. Do you want me to go ahead and glue the wheels on it? Okay, so let me go ahead and glue the wheels and show you guys. So later on, John can use these markers to um, decorate all over it. You can do the inside if you want to. Um, you can do stripes on the outside. There are, I don't have to tell, give you guys ideas. There are a million different ways to decorate these cars. John was talking about turning one into the Batmobile, um, turning one into the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. The sky is the limit, right? So um, now that I have my um, thing ready, let's, let's talk about the wheels. All right. Yeah, how many wheels do I need? Four. I need four, unless you're doing something crazy. I mean, I guess you could do like a motorcycle or something, but we're gonna do four. So again, this is um, the grown-up's job. Um, I am going to take my little, my wheels, and for where you place the glue, it kind of depends on how your little thing is made. I'm looking for flat surfaces, so some of them might be solid in the middle. You could cover it with glue there. Some might um, have a ring, kind of like mine. So I'm just going to kind of take my hot glue gun. Moms and dads. That's enough while I'm doing this. Um, I'm going to just kind of put a bead of glue around that outside edge. And then come in right here on the side of the car. Put the wheel level with the ground. And just... Slide it on and hold it for a second. I'm going to put one at the back. Bless you. Oh, it touched the ground? Yeah, you want it to touch the ground, right? You don't want it to float. So now that I have it set, it actually makes it a lot easier. I can come and add the rest of my wheels. Um, yes, you can do this with um, white glue. It just has to dry overnight. I like hot glue because it's just a little bit faster. Just hold it on for a second to let that glue settle. Um, other options, I have seen some cars where they took toothpicks and ran them through and put the wheels on the toothpicks so they could actually roll. Um, that is a little more difficult if you want to challenge it, if you want to give it a try. So I'll just show you on this side with these two wheels because I'm probably going to that might even have to glue them again later just to make sure. So you're just putting your two wheels. <laughs> that one's a little crooked, isn't it? There we go. Um, you've got your two wheels on there. And then we'll just flip it over on the other side and put two more wheels that line up. Um, you can also, ooh, hot glue. Um, you can also add a steering wheel, can't you? So if you wanted to, um, I'm not going to put one on here right now, just because you would knock it coming in and out with the action figure if you're putting guys in it. But you could put a piece up on top to give it like a propeller. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? <laughs> you can give it a little steering wheel if you want to. Um, if you have tissue paper or some other kind of paper or something fun, you could give flames coming out of the back. Like if you want to do like a crazy hot rod car. Um, the sky is really the limit, just with a simple cut and some little um, add-ons. So, John and I hope you have fun today making your own car. We're going to stop the video, right, and we're going to finish making yours. Does that sound good? Yeah. You ready to make it? Um, send us pictures. They see your kid. They're good.
send us pictures of your car creations. You can send them to me um, on Facebook if you're my friend, um, on Class Dojo if you're an Oak Ridge student, or on Instagram or Twitter at CS Riley Teach. And um, tomorrow we are going to be doing some Aboriginal bar cleanings for um, World Travel Wednesday. So we will see you then, right? You want to say bye? Bye. Bye, guys.